on Lake X in northern Montana. There's a fish on it. Awesome. Bad way to start the morning. Two flags. Uh, do we have to come out sideways? bad way to start the morning. Um, here we are on Lake X in northern Montana and uh, we got in uh, F probably hour after dark and left uh, Livingston in a hell of a snowstorm. Got up here after six hours of driving. Good place to be. We didn't hook anything last night. We just kind of got set up. And uh, great thing about Montana is you can leave your lines out unattended overnight, which is not the case in the Midwest. So know where you're fishing at all times. Anyways, we're gonna get back, set up, uh, set these back up. Okay, so the spot we're sitting on, <clears throat> if you look at, at the map, I'll back out a little bit, so, you got this big flat right here. And, uh, you know, so my thought is in the evening, low light conditions, predators move into shallow water to feed on, you know, smaller fish. So we actually started over here and it was only like three foot of water last night. So just moved out to this drop and had to see we're in nine foot of water here. And, uh, Got the one pike so far. We missed a couple of others, and I've seen a couple fish on the graph. So I think this is a pretty good spot until you know that sun gets pretty high, and we'll end up moving to deeper water. We'll see. We've got all day, and uh, you know it's ice fishing early February, and uh, we'll see. It's a good place to be. Yeah, there's definitely a couple of fish there. Kind of looking for the next spot. I mean, if you look at this, it's just this big flat, but I'm thinking we need to get a little bit deeper. I think we are definitely gonna hit that spot. There's something about that spot I really like. But that's pretty good. I almost think we just Leave a couple tip-ups here and maybe come out to this spot.
poquito, <laughs> muy poquito. But I think he's okay too. I don't think he's got the bends. Oh, he just dropped back to the bottom. As soon as I pulled it away from him, so here he comes. Good work. Man, he went straight down. So it is 10 to five right now. And my experience ice fishing on perch lakes is catch perch during the day, occasional walleye, but right close to sundown, perch basically just shut off and uh, walleyes move in. So we were just in anywhere from 35 to 40 feet catching perch <clears throat> and uh, move back. Right now I'm in 18 foot of water and got tip ups and uh, anywhere from 14 to eight foot. So that's like prime walleye um, territory. And it's interesting, it's almost like people are leaving right now and Maybe they were just fishing for perch today, but um, this is my favorite time of the day. Walleyes move in and hopefully flags go off. Man. Look at that. There he is. <laughs> Gotta be a perch or a small, ah, little wall. That is a small walleye <laughs> but you know what it is a walleye that's a cute walleye <laughs> or is that a sauger yeah it's too small to tell the difference Morning folks, so second day and uh, just got done checking tip ups. We had one flag overnight, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, we're sitting anywhere from 15 foot uh, up into like eight, nine foot. So figured we had it covered for the evening uh, overnight, but one flag and it would chewed up pretty good, but no fish. So, it seems like the perfect day. I mean, we've got snow coming down, you know, totally different than yesterday morning. So, pretty confident we'll, we'll get into them. Uh, try for walleyes this morning for a little bit and just see what happens and probably go deeper if we have to for, for perch during the day. So, we'll see. Awesome. Classic walleye pattern. Little minnow head and just saw him come up from the bottom and just hammered it right in the lip. I think we're gonna eat this one. Now this is how we roll. No, that is not a fish decoy. That is actually a walleye just caught. <laughs> That's hilarious.
classic UP Swedish pimple. So day three and uh, just came out, thought it would be a perfect night to let the uh, tip ups soak overnight and came out not a single flag. So kind of a bummer, of course. Um, so we're gonna give it a few hours and just see what we see today. Um, same spot, again, we're sitting in 14 and a half foot of water and uh, a little finger that sits out and prime time right now, so we'll see. There he is. Feels like a better fish. A little fat perch, nice. Fat belly's on him. See ya. Totally missing it. There he is. Awesome. Another fatty. Another fatty. <laughs> I love it. Today on the Adventures with Toivo and Eno, we're gonna do a little perch fishing. I'm Toivo. And I'm Eno. <laughs> <laughs> and yesterday, both both the Packers and the Lions lost. They were playing each other and they both lost. <laughs> we're wrapping up. It's nine o'clock, uh, feeding frenzy is over. We're gonna check tip ups, but we're gonna head back. Uh, great travel day, pretty uh, crystal clear out now. So, uh, gonna check these tip ups and hit the road. So 10 minutes later, we're loaded up, machines on the trailer, and we're out of here. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next lake. See ya.